So welcome to day five of the 25 days of Canva tips and tricks. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sherry from SherryLamiller.com. And here on my channel, I demonstrate how you can create digital products inside of Canva, sell online to earn additional income and create, increase the financial flexibility in your budget. For day five, we're going to go over the color picker. So if you're not familiar with it, if you're in Canva and you have a design and you know, don't know what the specific color is or the code for that color, there is a color picker inside of the software. So let's get started with that demonstration. So here I'm just inside of Canva's design studio and I've pulled up one of the things I had favored. It's just a one page printable. But let's just say you really like um, this color or you wanted to change everything. So in the background color, which is highlighted, is this pale, I guess, salmon color. If you click on that and you go over to add a new color, you'll get the color picker. So let's say you really like maybe this yellow or this um, green sage. If you click on that, it will change the document that was previously the pale salmon um, to the green, but it also will give you the color code. So if you needed that for another document, you could keep it in an Excel spreadsheet if you're keeping the colors you want or you're building out your brand. So now if we take this and we do the color picker for maybe the yellow. So now we have the new code. So you can save that, use it somewhere else, or you can use it to change every color that was previous associated with the green is now a mustard color. So we are five days down, 20 more to go. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go over a different type of color palette that Canva has. And if you're trying to establish your brand colors for your business or the color schemes that you wanna use on your printable wall art or inside your digital planner, Come back tomorrow and see how you can take different color schemes that you might find on Pinterest and other areas of the internet and develop your own brand colors or color schemes from that. Because I'm a little challenged in matching up colors, so I use this particular tactic often. If you found value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I record a video, as well as subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.